What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Dog Rune token. More specifically, we're going to be talking recently about the holder count that has been continuing to grow every single week. We are now breaking new records in terms of holder count. Also, you're going to find out in this video, what if Dog contains around 3% of Bitcoin's total market cap. You'd be surprised what the price point of each dog would be. And also we wanna share with you transparency from the community, what they shared in terms of the wallet addresses. And it's gonna be very interesting to share with you that these are centralized exchanges. So with that said, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So the dog rune tokens hovering around a 400 million mark cap. Don't worry, I'm gonna share with you at the very end of the video what we're seeing in the charting analysis. You will be surprised at what patterns we are actually seeing. But right now it's at the support level that we see quite a bit. The lowest that this went was around 370 million. Now the reason it's dip is because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually dipped from 68,000 to 66,000. So that means it's gonna heavily affect altcoins, gaming altcoins, especially meme coins. Now, when we look at the holder count, most importantly, you need to look at the holder count. It's at 78,113. Now, why this is important is because you're starting to see the amount of holders accumulate the bags of paper hands. So eventually, at some certain point, the ratio is gonna balance itself out, meaning the amount of paper hands that sell the new holders are gonna buy in dollar cost average, have more accumulation over their period of time, having more exposure to this, and eventually this is gonna equalize and it's gonna be balanced. And then once that's balanced roughly around the 400 million mark cap, then we start seeing either more holders buying or the same type of holders hodling or maybe more exchanges buying and that sends the token price up. We're very early on with this and keep in mind, we still don't have an initial swap yet on Magic Eden. Now Magic Eden is at the forefront of innovation when it comes to integrating swaps, creating marketplace between Ethereum, Polygon, Base, Bitcoin, I mean, they just create everything at the forefront. Swap right now isn't live yet, but when this does go live, it's gonna be heavily bullish. Now, I wanna speak further on the holder count. It's just showing that there's intelligence and awareness around the root ecosystem and its efficiencies compared to BRC20 tokens. And the reason I bring that up is because BRC20 tokens are very slow and inefficient. They're the quite opposite of rune tokens. And BRC20 tokens have been around a lot longer, almost close to around a year. Runes are only three months old, and already we're seeing more adoption, more transaction volume happening within runes than BRC20s. In fact, I'm seeing BRC20 liquidity flow into the rune ecosystem. And this is a great chart created by Nutter. Make sure to follow Nutter if you haven't already, but he's been tracking the holder count over the past couple months, and look at this. It just continues to go to the upside, and that's absolutely a bullish trend for me. Now, in terms of what's trending, Obviously, DOG is one of the most trending cryptocurrencies, especially a room token amongst all these other OGs in the space in the past 30 days. Now, I want you to pay attention to this because DOG is being considered not only the number one room token, but a huge competitor within the meme coin market cap, while DOG is sitting at a 400 million market cap. You can see that this is heavily undervalued. Now, I wanna share with you something that ZeroSum created, which was the key metrics, all right? So this is what he said. He just did some crazy math. He used both ChatGBT and Claude when given charts for percentage multipliers analysis of Bitcoin Plus competitive metrics from Doge, Shiba Inu, and Dog Whiff Hat. Wanted to give Dog a five to seven percent of Bitcoin's market cap peak. And then he decided to dial it back with realistic metrics, and it still came up with 3%. Now, 3% would give the token price of a dog rune token around $1.58. And Best in Slot, an amazing website for tools within ordinals, BRC20 tokens, and also runes, they also share with you wallet address tracking. So this is what they analyzed on their side. So after analyzing the dog airdrop data, here are their insights. Now, apparently there are total eligible wallets they were around 75,489. Now, walls that have not moved dogs since the airdrop was 37,934. Now, of these, active wallets have other transactions since happening around 1,550. Dead wallets that have no transactions since happening, 
36,384. And Dog BTC that covers the top 100 wallets within the Dog Rune token just realized something and inserted that BitGet is actually the second wallet that's been accumulating the Dog Rune tokens. And how is that also confirmed? Well, if you look at what Tick.E said, he says, I can officially confirm that the second top holder of Dog is BitGet Global. Now, if you notice this wallet address, he actually said right down below and somebody asked him a question and that was simply, good work, sir. How did you find confirmation? He simply, I withdrew some Rune X to confirm their address. And then Gordon says, solid effort mate, good analysis. So that just confirms that this is just a minor tier two exchange. Imagine when KuCoin, Kraken, Binance, Crypto.com, HTX start allowing their customers and clients to have exposure to the dog root token. This is gonna skyrocket. Now let's get into the charting analysis. Now this is what I discovered yesterday, that we are possibly forming a triple bottom. What is that? We're seeing a triple bottom right here, number one, two, and three. It keeps bouncing off the support level at around four, zero, and four. Four, three. And now this is the support level. What that means is we could potentially see another green candlestick to the upside if Bitcoin does not decide to go down. Remember, the dog rune token, every all their altcoin and gaming altcoin and meme coin follows Bitcoin's price. So if Bitcoin's price decides to tend to go up, then you're gonna see this price of dog go up as well, but maybe dog will decouple from Bitcoin. Maybe there's a lot of FOMO and people are gonna end up buying into this coin, but we could see a breakout to the upside, which would be this resistance level right around here around five, six, and that would start a new trend reversal to the upside. So this is why I'm sharing this with you. And you know, if you're paying attention to the day-to-day -day price point of dog, I'm sure you're going through a lot of emotional you know, reconsiderations if you should have this token in your portfolio or not. But regardless, if you are too emotional, if you are too scared to hold on to this token, then you are over invested. Most of the people that buy into this token have conviction and they just hold. And they could hold for months to even up to a year just to allow the token to find its kind of grounding and also find its new price point. But if you're looking to get rich quick, this is not one of those coins to do that. You have to think of the long-term effect and you also have to pay attention to the Rune ecosystem, building out all these different tools such as swaps and also allowing other centralized exchanges to list this specific token because of rules or regulations. Since it's only three months old, no token's gonna be listed within that time frame unless they pay a hefty fee for centralized exchanges, but that's not what DOG is trying to do. It's a fair and free movement, which does not pay centralized exchanges and also does not pay market makers. That prevents this token from being a rug and makes it safe in a long-term type of way. So let me know your thoughts down below, how you feel around the DOG price point. Do you feel like the holder account's gonna grow? Do you think that 3% of Bitcoin's mark cap would put this token at a dollar and over, or do you think it would go higher, maybe 5%? And last but not least, I wanna hear your thoughts down below regarding the charting analysis. Where do you think we're gonna be in the next week or so? Where I cannot wait to read those comments down below. So as always, be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls regarding dog. Till then, see you guys and girls next time.